come on in come on in come on in hey guys my name is Roslyn from Roslyn and journey through craft and how you guys doing tonight okay guys so I decided to um, do another project using these containers from the Dollar Tree right here um, I have a video of how I turned these into a chandelier um, on my YouTube so if you guys haven't seen that go check that out and guys why I got you here I need you to hit the like and the share and the subscribe button back to these I'm deciding on um, whether I want to do one or two things one I want to do a stackable I want to stack this and I want to make um I want to make something like really for the summer something something like for the beach I want to get some sand I want to put some sand in there I want to put some shells I want to I, I, I want to glue the shells around this but in order for me to um, do that I need to take one of these and cut half of it off the only part I'm going to need is just this round part here on one. Um, so what I did was I started cutting it around as you can see right here. I'm going to finish it and I'm going to let you guys check out how. So I take this knife here. Um, they said it's a carved knife for wood. I never used it for wood. I use it for everything else but for wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around here. I, hope, I don't know if it's hot enough because I just put it on. Um, guys, if you don't have one of these, you, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going to need one. This thing cut through plastic like it's nobody's business. And if you do a lot of Dollar Tree projects, um, you're definitely going to need to, um, you know, break down. Um, some of the products that they sell in order to make a project so guys um, you can purchase this at uh, Michael's this is where I got it from I believe I got it on the clearance right um, no I didn't get this from Michael's I saw it in Michael's but I did purchase this from Amazon I believe and um, I just want you guys to see how quickly this thing cuts around this thing here works, guy. So just be very careful, especially when you come into the end like me. Slow it down. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm I'm helping it. I'm pushing it through. So right now, I'm going to let it work, and I'm going to pull back. So I do not want to burn my hand. So this right here can be saved and used for a different project. I probably put some foam around it and put some flowers on top. So I'm gonna go go back and try to even this off because I want it a little bit even. I want it to sit on top of the other one. I want it to cradle it. You know, I don't want it to be um, uneven. So I'm figuring it. Uh, be very careful. If I um, even it around, it'll fit better. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to. even it but guys you have to be very very careful with this thing because this thing will burn you I have gotten burned by it <laughs> but it was my fault because I wasn't paying attention and as you can see this thing worked perfectly it cuts all kind of things guys Catch you. I'm trying to bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see. Cuts right around and just as close as you need it. It will cut. Just be very careful not to damage what your what your product and not to damage your hands. So 
I don't think I was very clear on what I want to make. It's just like a vision that I have. So when it's a vision that I have, it's really kind of hard to explain, um, you know, what it is that you're trying to say. Um, so I'm just going to just go with the flow and I'm just going to do it, you know. Because I know what I want to make. It's just not coming out like I want it to. You guys know how that is. As you can see, that came right off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna flatten it just a bit. Just a bit. And then I'm gonna take some E6000 and some um, hot glue and I want to connect it. I want it to sit like this. But what I think I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to do it like this, right? I should have did that from the start and it could have saved me a lot of headache. We're cutting this piece off here because really, all I really need is it to connect just like that. And then what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna put some um, gisu on it, right? First, probably two coats of that, and then I'm gonna paint it. Um, I'm gonna paint it. I'm not sure what color I want it. Maybe I put the white, the gisu on it. The gisu is white. You can you can mix it with acrylic paint and change the color if you choose. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to put the two coats, and then I'm going to choose the color that I want. And then. Then I'm going to, um, it's gonna be a simple project. It's not, it's not nothing really big, but what I wanted to tell you is this right here, you can change this right now into a whole nother project, guys. You can put foam in there <clears throat> and have flowers coming out of it, right? <clears throat> you could put moss in there and just build it up. Um, you can connect it. You could just put so many different things in there. Candy, as you can see. Um, um, I'm not, not going to say water. Well, you can put it with water and then have floating candles. Put the water up to here and then put floating candles on it. My geese are always um, talk about love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Like I said, you can mix your acrylic paint with this geese. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these containers, um, I'm gonna take these off, this one first, and then I'm gonna clean it with um, alcohol, right? Just like that, it comes off, which is so cool. I don't have to fight with it, right? And I wanna show you guys something. I purchased these guys from Michaels, right? Let me just take this off. I'm telling you guys, I, I don't, they're so beautiful. I don't, I really, really don't want to use them. I really don't want to use them because they are so beautiful. But I was telling you that I. I purchased, I believe I purchased these shells right here. This bag from, from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It comes in a whole bag of, you know, these you know, shells. But, guys, yeah, these here have nothing. When I tell you I love Dollar Tree and I love the stuff that they carry, I want to show you something else. I'll put this over here. I want to show you what I found at Michael's. Guys, look at this. And this came in a, in a big bag. Look at this. These are so pretty. I don't even want to touch them. I don't want to touch them. Look how beautiful this is. And that's just one. Check this out. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? 
I'm telling you, I don't want to even touch it. I, I, I want to, I want to glue it on. Um, my vision is to glue them, you know, around. This is going to be like a, a beach theme, but I don't want to touch them. I'm not going to put up the big ones. I can tell you that right now. Now I have to hold on to those. Look at this one here. Look at this one. This is so pretty. I need me a theme. I was thinking about making um, a basket and put me put these around the basket. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at this one. This is so pretty. I don't know. I, I, I picked this. Look at this one here. These are so pretty. You don't even want to use them. And I had these for a couple of months. Maybe like six months. Because I don't want to use them. But they're so pretty. You got to do something pretty. Okay, so. We're going to push these over here. What I do know is I'm going to use the small ones. Um, so I need to um, glue this down. First and foremost. And I'm kind of scared. Because I don't, I don't want to use. I don't want to use, um, let me set this up for now. I don't want to use the glue gun because I don't want it to get all over the place. So I have some Gorilla Glue. So maybe I'll use this to glue that down. Let's see how that one works.
Okay, guys. So, I'm going to admit something to you guys. I am definitely a crafter. And why I say that? Because crafter minds, they just keep, just keep going, right? Just keep going, just keep moving, just keep thinking. And right now, my mind has changed from the beach theme for this here. I decided to change it to, I'm thinking about calling it a tall candy dish bowl, a tall centerpiece, a tall fruit bowl. Just this thing right here is gonna be used for so many different things. And that's what I mean when I say I am a crafter because we constantly, constantly, constantly thinking and changing our mind. So what I'm going to do with this, as I, remember I put the, um, the, 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 the guiso on it. And look at it guys. Look, just look. Look at the, you see the white? It's, it's like really, really, it's been sitting overnight, but it's the texture. I can paint over this and it'll come out perfect. Red, green, blue, purple, any color you want. You put that on top of the guiso and it's fine. And what I did was I took that other piece that we had and like I said, I glued it on the bottom to give it a, just a little bit more height, which it did. And I am going I just decided that I am going to cut around here. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. But guys, you know what I decided that I'm going to do with this? Check this out. I'm going to I'm going to glitter this baby down. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glitter this baby down. And I'm going to make it this extra fine polyester glitter. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to sit it on my table. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on this. I'm going to douse it with this a couple of times. And give it that, that juicy glow. That sparkly glow. And I'm going to keep this for myself. That's what I'm going to do, guys. So I want you guys to come along with me on my journey. But before we start that, my mind was working again. So I want you guys to come along with me on my journey. But before we start that, my mind was working again, guys. They was working, 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 working. So what I decided that I'm going to take some dowels, right? These are the dowels from Michaels. And I have a bunch of these in all different sizes, even larger than this. So I decided that I want to jazz this up a little bit, right? Whatever I'm, whatever I'm going to do here, it's still going to be glitter. But I want this top to be a little bit different, right? So I was thinking about this, guys. What do you think? Right? What do you think about that? Right? Isn't that cool? Didn't I just change the look of things? I think I like this. I think I like this, guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this baby in place. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm undecided on should I do the bottom the same way? Because I definitely need to, I definitely want to do something on the bottom, right? Should I do the bottom the same way? Guys, what do you think? What do you think? I think this is going to be one cool project. I'm telling you, sometimes you could just tell things are going to work. And then sometimes you'd be like, nope, that's not going to work. Like the thing, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that with something else. I, I want it like a square, the beach thing. So that's why I decided not to. But what do you think of that, guys? Once I glue it down, it'll be in place. Right now, it's just moving all over the place. Think of that top and bottom, leaving that white and just having that um, having that that uh, that bling bling everywhere else. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I think we might have, I think we is on to something. You know what? I love it, guys. That's why I tell you, I love being a crafter because. That mind, when that mind get them doing whatever they want to do, girl, you can't stop it. When you a crafter, you can't stop it. It's there. 
And this right here is going to make this project so fierce, guys. So I was even thinking about the smaller version. What do you think? You know, I'm a bling girl. I'm a big girl. I like I like things that big and stand out. So I think that's a little bit okay. You know, it'll work. You know, but what is it? Now check this out. Boom. If I use the bigger one. That gives it something. It gives it something. Something like, hey, hold up. I think I like it. So I'm gonna go with the big one, guys. I know y'all seen, nope, the little one, but I'm gonna do the big one. Cause I like things to pop. And I'm not gonna glitter this. I'm gonna leave this white. So we're gonna get this party started. So guys, you gotta bear with me because what I need to do is I need to measure it, right, first. Okay, so we're gonna put this up here. I need to cut it, right? So you get a little pencil here. Figure out where I'm gonna cut it at right here. And then I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it with the scissors. Again, these are cordals from, um, Michaels. Oh yeah, perfect. It cut it perfect, just like that. So this is this is what it is. Okay. I want you guys to see the name. Can you guys see the name? Great. And if anybody interested, I have a video on how to make my chandeliers, and they are. Fierce. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Guys, go check that video out. It's on YouTube right now. Okay, so let's get this party started here. So I'm going to put this over here because that's for the glitter. So what I'm going to do is I don't, I want it to cover this part here, right? So we're going to put it up just a little bit, okay? And I hope that this sticks a lot of the time this foam want to do what it want to do okay so let's hope this works so we're going to hold it there just to help it out hope it stick I never use glue on on Giso. I never use it on it, so I'm not sure. I hope it stays. I think it stayed, guys. Yes, ma'am, it stayed.
Look at this, look at this, look at this. You know this is too cute. So far so good? I believe it is. <laughs> so cute. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get the um, glitter in some of the spots that I miss. When I finish with this, this is not going to look like $2, I can tell you that. Because that's all this is, it's $2 for both pieces. All we did was took two of the canisters from Dollar Tree, cut one in half. Well, didn't cut one in half cut the bottom piece off and connected it to the other bottom piece. This right here is only two dollars guys. So far, so good. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you guys think that we should put the bling around here? Just a thought. What do you guys think? Around the top? Do the top, we gotta do the bottom now. I'm just thinking, should we? Or should we leave this? And you know guys, you can stick flowers around here. Because this is like, this is, this is, this is foam. You can stick, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, I am not going to. Maybe we should put the glitter around it and then stick the flowers around it. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Or, yeah, we can do so many things with this. We can blow up five inch balloons, stick the balloons down in here. That's right, stick the balloons. Oh wow, you see, this thing can go balloon it off. Guys, what do y'all think? Should we, should we do this? Should we? You know what? We're going to. My mind is saying, go for it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go. That's what we're going to. Do. Why not? Let me move this glitter, cause guys, I tell you, I got glitter everywhere. Me and glitter. I'll be cleaning for days. I'll be going to work with glitter in my hair tomorrow. Yeah, why not? Let's see how that goes. And if it don't come out too great, guys, guess what? We go to the store, we spend two more dollars, and we do it all over again. Yes, ma'am. But I think this one's going to be cool.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys. How about that? Right? We're not going to waste each other's time here. But you already got the concept of how it's done. So just do it. Okay, guys. So I'm back. So what I'm going to do now is for my last coat that I'm going to put on this. Oh, look at that shine. Look at that shine. Ooh, wait. This is so pretty. For my last coat, I'm going to mix some glitter and Mod Podge. And I believe I'm out of this Mod Podge here. Let me see. Yeah, this one is like really going here. So I'm going to just mix some. I'm going to mix some glitter in this one, babe. That's what we're going to do. This is our last coat. And guys, guess what? That project is finished. Once it dry, it's going to sit on top of my dining room table. Yeah.
here, looky here, looky here. All right, guys, this project is done. But look at it, guys. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Now, guys, you tell me that you don't want this on your table as a centerpiece for your event. What I will tell you is this is fabulous, guys. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I have ideas, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll show you so many different ways that you can decorate this thing, guys. So many different ways you can decorate it. But I'm gonna give you one right now. So first and foremost, my candle. I'm gonna put my candle just like that. All right? So far, so good? All right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some flowers around me. Because I did not paint the inside, right? We discussed that, it wasn't going in there. So we're gonna do it like this. Take your time, you can do it a little bit better. That's how we're gonna rock that one, let's see. Yes, ma'am. Or you can tuck it down a little bit further and show your candle. Imagine that on your table, guys. At your event. Just imagine. You can put roses, all different colors around you. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Then, then, I purchased these. These stones from Dollar Tree. Wow. Accent stones, beautiful guys. Check this out. So we're just gonna start placing them. Placing them all over the place. Why not? Make it come together. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You can get any access stones you want to go with this. And if you really want to get freaky with it. You can um, spray paint them gold. Or leave them as it is. Just, just put it in and everything. We're going to try to keep it where it is. We can let this right here show. And how cute is this guy? Thinking cute is that? How stinking cute is that? Remember, I just want you just to remember this right here. This whole thing from here was two dollars. The only thing we threw in here that wasn't from Dollar Tree was this to make this project. This one and this one. And remember, this was the phone, right? And we cut it, we glued it. And look at it, just look at it guys. Just look at it. This will bring any table out. And then, we're gonna throw some leaves on top of it. Why not? Boom. Why not? Check this out. You don't have to tuck them all the way down there. But check that out. Why not, guys? Just tell me why not. This is so stinking cute. I'm going to put this on my table. Yes, ma'am. You can throw some more powders around. The sky is the limits with this thing, I'm telling you guys. This thing didn't cost us, this thing cost us less than five dollars to make. And this is gorgeous. Please, share this video. Let my people out there know, we do not have to spend a bunch of money 
to be fabulous. That is so gorgeous, guys. Just take a look. Just take a look. Wow, 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 wow. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I did like five to six different ways that you can decorate this thing, guys. And it is so stinking cute. Wait till you see it. So, guys, this is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey Through Craft, and I want to thank you guys for hanging in here with me. I know this video was kind of long, but I can tell you something. You will learn from this one here that you do not need to spend a lot of money to have fabulous things in your home. So, again, please hit that bell. You know you got to hit that bell. You got to give me that thumbs up, guys. And do me a favor. If you're not part of my family, become part of my family by subscribing. So on that note, I'll see you next time.